Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you on this Wednesday, July 10th. Please join with us tonight as we'll be doing our second part of our Wednesday night on the book of Psalms. Diane will be teaching tonight on another beautiful psalm. It's just a good way to get to know the psalm. So it's 7 p.m. tonight, but again, you can watch it at any time on YouTube, Spotify, excuse me, Facebook Live, etc. You know, all the different social media things out there. So today, our Bible reading is Acts 16, 1 through 15. And it says here in verse 13, on the Sabbath day, we went out of the city to the riverside where prayer was custom customarily made. And we sat down and spoke to the women who met there. Now, a certain woman named Lydia heard us. She was a seller of purple from the city of Tyretra, who worshiped God. The Lord opened her heart to heed the things of Paul, spoken by Paul. And when she, her and her household were baptized, she begged us, saying, if you have judged us faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. So she persuaded us. That beautiful. We're going to meet this Lydia one day. We're going to meet all the Bible people one day. We're going to have all eternity to do that. Amen. The team is in Peru, so we'll be lifting them up today. Today, our prayer focus is justice. And I, you know, I, I saw somebody put a, a thing out, and it's so true. You need voter ID. You need a ID to get on a plane to do this, do this, do this, this. But the only thing you don't need it for is to vote. Let's pray for a fair election come this November. So we're praying for justice today, all right? We have our prayer cards. Our state that we're praying for is Utah today. Utah has a population of 3.2 million, but only 7% evangelical Christian. And today we're praying for the nation of Hungary, the nation of Hungary, all right? Let's go ahead and pray, church family, prayer warriors. Father, we do bless you. And thank you for this new day. This again is the day you have given us. We will rejoice. We will be glad in it. We thank you that you're such a good, good God. And we love you. Love you so much. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for the joy of our salvation. Thank you for our blessed hope. Thank you for your kindness and your goodness towards us. Thank you for being able to see your colors, for the sky, the, the clouds, the trees, the grass, the oceans, the mountains, whatever it might be, the valleys, Lord, a park, so much beauty that you have made, Lord, and I thank you, thank you for that, Lord. Lord, as we begin our time of prayer, we want to remember the team in Peru, Lord, so we pray for them today, and we pray, Father, that you would strengthen them, help them, use them, let them be a blessing to the Peruvian people, to the pastors that they'll be working with. I pray for your guidance, direction, and leading, Father, as they go out on the highways and the byways. I pray for the young that are there and the elderly that are there, Lord, that you would strengthen their bodies and use them mightily for the work of the kingdom. And we thank you. Thank you for that. Lord, we'll continue in praying for our world. We lift up the nation of Israel to today and we pray for the Jewish people. We bind up this supernatural hatred. You said there would be a supernatural hatred against Jewish people. It's found there in Ezekiel, very clear. But uh, to me, I pray for them, Lord, because they gave us the Messiah. They gave us the Bible. They gave us the Apostle Paul and Jesus and on and on. And I feel it's my obligation, our obligation to pray for them. So we pray for the Jewish people today that their eyes would be open to the true Messiah and that they would see Jesus as their Lord. We pray also, Father, for the land of Israel, for its protection during this time of war. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And in praying that, we pray Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, come. And I thank you for that. We also lift up the children of Abraham scattered out throughout the Middle East, Lord. We pray for them. I even think of Iran, not a ch children of Israel, of Abraham, but we see them with Cyrus. We see them how you use them 
before to bless the Jewish people, and here they are now cursing the Jewish people. So we pray for the Middle East. We pray for all that's going on there. We lift up our world before you. We pray for Peru. We pray for Hungary today. Hungary, 9.7 million with only 3.1% evangelical Christians. We pray for the people there, for the scales to come off their eyes, Lord. Lord, you said, wide are the gates to destruction. Wide are the gates to hell. And we, as prayer warriors, as those that lift up the lost, the unchurched and the unsaved, we don't want to see anyone go to that place. And Lord, we know that you are long-suffering, desiring that none perish, but all be saved and come to the full knowledge of the truth. So we lift up the people of all these nations and we pray for them today. We pray for the 8 billion people on planet Earth and we pray as it was in the days of Noah, there was a huge population. We see a huge population now. So will it be when the Son of Man returns. Lord, I pray for our young people with this uh, generation of knowledge that they would see that the book of Daniel says that knowledge will abound. People will go here and there before the return of the Lord and let that trigger something that we are living in the last of the last days. Help them to see that, I pray. We lift up our United States of America. We pray for Utah. We lift up the governor of Utah, mayors of cities. We pray for the Mormon religion, that the people there would see Jesus Christ, not as the brother of Lucifer, Gabriel, but as the Messiah, the Son of God. I pray that their eyes would be open to that, Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray, Father, for the people of that state. We lift up Biden and Harris in our executive branch, Schumer and Johnson, our legislative branch, uh, Roberts and, and the other associate justices in our judicial branch. We lift up Murphy and all governors and, and Adams and all mayors, Lord, and we pray for these leaders. Lord, it's appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. I pray that their eyes would be open to see what they're doing, to see the ones that are doing wrong, to, to end up doing it right. We pray for justice in our land. We pray over the upcoming election just a few months away, and we're going to start praying now for this thing that, Lord, if we're still here, we want a godly government, Lord, and we have not had that in a few years here, Lord. So we pray. We pray over our government. We pray over our, our uh, upcoming election, Lord, who's ever running, Lord. We will pick the platform that stands for godliness. I don't want to hear, going to put a couple dollars in my pocket. I want to hear, I want to turn the sinfulness of our nation around, Lord. I don't know if we're past that tipping point. I don't know how far we're gone. All I know is as long as we're here, we are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. So we pray for the justice in our nation as we see these people go into uh, stores and just take everything and the police never show up. That's not justice. That's lawlessness, Lord. That's anarchy, Lord. We pray for our land. God help America. In our world today, we lift up Sweden, Finland, Switzerland, Lekistan, Austria, Czechia, Poland, Father. We look at these Poland, 0.3% with 38 million people. Finland, the highest here, 10.2% with uh, uh, 5.6 million people. We pray for them. We lift up the works of the ministry, those that are out there doing the works of the ministry. We lift up Europe shall be saved, European Christian mission, evangelical Bible translator, evangelical friends mission, evangelism explosion, faith comes by hearing, and Far East Broadcast Company, Lord. Father, I lift up Reverend Bob Meeker before you. I lift up YWAM and uh, Juan is asking for prayer as they, he's been attacked physically and they got some big outreaches that are coming up. We lift up Inspire Sports right now that are in high gear right now, bringing in groups. And Lord, they, some of these I hear from Philly and New York and there's clashes and they have to work through to share the gospel with these. We pray for these, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
Lord, we also lift up before you the prayer cards that have come in. And we pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters, Lord. Father, I lift up my brother John is asking for prayer. Mike Basso, Lord, at prayer, Lord, for can against cancer. Our sister Cindy, Howard, Lord, Barbara, Judy. We have so many right now. We lift up our sister Gail before you. So many are battling things, Lord. It seems like every day we say that, Lord. I feel for people. I know when things come against me, it, it's not fun. It's not fun. Put strain on the family also, Lord. So we pray for supernatural healing right now in Jesus' name. We lift up these prayer cards before you. Now, Father, as we take a couple moments to just wait in your presence, Lord. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are blessings forevermore. We love you, Lord. Can I just worship him just for a minute here? We worship you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for our health. Thank you, Father. You said your word is life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Help us to eat and partake of your word, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Somebody has something with the nose today, breathing or something in the nose, just healing coming your way right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for eyesight. In fact, I'm going to pray over our five senses today. Amen. As long as we're on this earth, we still need them. We pray over our five senses of touch, smell, taste, hearing, seeing, Lord. Thank you for strengthening every one of those, Lord, in Jesus' name. We love you, sir. We honor the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus. Thank you for this time together with hundreds today, Lord, praying together, sharing together. And I thank you. I lift up my sister, Judy, that's going in for a hip operation, Father. I just thank you. Everything going perfect there, Lord. We bring her up in prayer in Jesus' name. Jesus, give Jim the strength that he needs during this time, Lord. Amen. Again, we love you, sir. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hey, God is good. Amen. Thank you for joining with me. Share this if you can. Put a thumbs up. It goes a long way. God bless.